We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. In this ceremony today, we will witness the joining of Rodney Anderson and Rennie Touch in marriage. We call each other uh, Team Ren Rod. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I get butterflies in my stomach. Seven years later, like, I can hear the truck pull up because it's so loud. And it's like, oh, my honey's home. <laughs> well, I remember the first time I saw her come into my office. And obviously, she was incredibly good looking. And then on top of it, one of the things that I really loved about her was the way she cared for people and the type of person she was that, um, you know, I was definitely interested in her. Um, but I also was like, she's way out of my league, man. There's no way, you know. This girl's smoking hot, you know. But it, it developed into a friendship. That was a good foundation for us. And uh, so and I'm just lucky enough to be here today to, to get to a marrier. Everybody loves Rodney. He has such a great personality, and he just has this thing about him. Being with someone for seven years and practically married anyways, well, I thought it's the same, like getting married being together, he always, he's called me his wife since day one, like ever since we started dating. But the thing is, it is starting to feel and it's hitting me it, and I'm gonna tear up right now. But it's, it is different. It's because I'm gonna be Mrs. Anderson. Out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened to Rodney and Rennie. They met each other seven years ago, they fell in love seven years ago, and are finalizing it today on their wedding. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more than fun. It is a commitment to celebrate life together forever. And this wedding ceremony will most likely be different from any other that you will ever or have ever attended. It will be filled with lightheartedness and humor without apology. Laughter draws others to you and keeps them by your side. When you laugh with one another, a positive, positive bond is created. This bond acts as a strong buffer against stress, disagreements, and disappointments. And believe me, a marriage has a lot of stress, disagreements, and disappointments. And without laughter, a marriage will not survive. Just because this ceremony is humorous and lighthearted does not mean that Rodney and Rennie are taking their marriage or their commitment of this marriage and their vows lightly. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Rodney and Rennie, you have come a long way from that prime rib dinner in Vegas to this moment of commitment. I love you. <laughs> we still don't know if it was a 15 or 16 ounce, but that's for some other time. Look at one another. Remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintances, co-workers, friends, fiancés, jerks. <laughs> but today, after these vows, you will say to the world that you are Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Things that they bring to everyone's life is uh, energy. And I feel like these two, when they're in the room, it just makes you feel a certain way. Can everybody agree with me on that? Can everybody talk about that? Yeah. Beautiful couple, beautiful couple. Basically, the Anderson name is one thing that I just want to talk about up front. Um, I've known these people since I was in third grade. Me and Rodney have been best friends since third grade. Whenever you think of an Anderson, you think of a hard nose, uh, you know, straight to the point. They're not going to sugarcoat anything. And I think today, us seeing these two uh, join together has taught everybody in this room a lesson that um, 
when two people unite and two people get together, it's something so beautiful. Uh, from the first time they met, Rodney brought me down here. He's like, oh, I'm moving to Denver, this and this. I'm like, you moving to Denver for what? Let's hang out in Kansas City all the time in your mom's garage. What's the problem? I thought that was going to be our life. And he changed it up on me for her. And I was like, are you kidding me for her? And so, all right? And so, so you kidding me? So um, we, we show up and he, he takes me to this place. And he's like, hey, man, we got to go in here. He's so nervous. He's, he's, um palms are sweating he can't even turn the wheel right because he's so sweaty getting in there and I'm like all right what are we doing he's like I gotta show you this girl so we walk in and we see the girl and, and so after we seen her um I walked in and I'm like great there's a hot secretary where's your girl at because uh, <laughs> who's with her and so you know then we proceed to walk out and he's like yeah that's her and um from that day forward he, he let me know and um Rodney's words are golden to me so whenever he speaks I really listen and he spoke that time like, hey, this is it. And I was like, okay, dude, you know, whatever. Let's just go grab a case and hang out. But he was serious, you know, and for them to be at this point and be in front of everybody and it's just joyous. It's, it's, it's crazy because I have to hold in a lot of tears for a lot of the things that him and his family have done for me. Um, it's, it's crazy, man, it's crazy. So. I'm glad everybody could be here. I'm glad everybody could witness this because these two will be a, around for a really, really long time. Rodney, you'll go first, but I want to give you fair warning. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Because anything you say can and most likely will be held against you for the rest of your life. Me. Seriously, Rodney, are you ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Rodney, repeat after me. I, Rodney, take you, Rennie, to be my wife. I, Rodney, take you, Rennie, to be my wife. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. All right, Rennie, it's your turn. I, Rennie, take you, Rodney, to be my husband. I, Rennie, take you, Rodney, to be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh at you and cry with you. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. <laughs> Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Say that again. Whatever may come. <laughs> Whatever may come. I will always be there. I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. I'm sorry. As I have given you, <laughs> as I have given you my hand to hold. As I am giving you my hand to hold. I will give you my life to keep. I will give you my life to keep. Can I have a tissue? <laughs> Good job, Darcy. Right, thank you. Okay, I'm ready. Rodney and Rennie, I will ask that you always treat yourself with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you here today. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty arise, as they do in almost every relationship, focus on what still seems right between you. This way, when clouds of trouble 
hide the sun in your lives and you lose sight of it for a moment, you can remember that the sun is still there. And if each of you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness until death do you part. Go ahead and get the boing. So to Renny and Rodney, to the bride and groom, now to my sister, and now my brother. Renny, you have always been there for me since I was a kid. <clears throat> you have been there for, ev for everyone in this entire room. Everyone can agree with me when we say, <clears throat> You are the most unselfish person here in this room. The, mul the multiple times you bailed me out of jail when I was a stupid teenager, <clears throat> to the day you watched me walk during my commencement from the University of Colorado Denver. I love you, Rennie. You are my sister. You're my best friend. And I hope nothing but the best for you guys <clears throat> and your future as a wife. <laughs> now let's raise our, raise our glasses to the bride and groom. I love you guys with all my heart. To Renny and Rodney. To make your marriage relationship work, it will take honesty, friendship, and giving 100% to your marriage while expecting nothing in return. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and to grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future holds. It will take commitment to hold true to the journey we both pledged today. Now that you've given yourselves to each other with solemn vows and the giving and receiving of rings in front of God and those assembled here today, it is with great joy that I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. to introduce you to Mr. Rodney and Mrs. Rennie Anderson.